Okay, this is a big deal. We're in an embassy RV. You know this guy. He's a YouTube star. This is Terry Minix. <laughs> hey, everybody. Good to see you again. <laughs> what we want to do today is show you five or six things that make an embassy RV very, very innovative, very unique in the Class B camper van space. So we're going to talk about HOA friendly. Yeah. We're going to talk about... Uh, the no wood. No wood. All the composite materials. And we're going to talk about our electrical system you know in more detail than we have before to show how deep it goes no solar speaking of electrical no awning yeah. and no, no black, black water tank. <laughs> so we got a lot to cover you don't want to miss a single minute let's get into it terry so the first one we're going to look at is your awesome control panel here kind of show us what we're looking at terry and what does it do and why is this kind of different this is our touch panel that is a married system into our master vault system they happen to own c-zone this is in yachts so they created with our help this program for us that controls our inverters so i can turn the inverter on and off from here i can turn my battery on if i hit it a second time i turn my battery off i can hit my power cord which we're not plugged in right now but I can turn it to zero, plug in my cord, come back and hit 15 if I'm on a 15, watch my voltage and know what to do. I can back pedal real quick if I have an issue and get my voltage to come up. So we made all this real easy. I can go to a light, touch the button, go like this, mm. and I just dim the ceiling lights. It'll show me on the screen here how far I dimmed them. If I turn it on and off, It'll come right back to that amount of dim, and you'll see our lights go off and on very slowly. Yeah. So we did a time lapse on and off, so we're not hammering power to any of our system. It's a very soft start and stop. Or to your eyeballs. Um, do that again. So we let me get it back here so people can see that operating. It's really cool. So I'm going to take it up, and I can dim it down just by sliding. And you can preset it, and when you turn it off, it'll be where you like it. But the trick is. You can just do this and this. If it's all the way up here and I can't get a hold of it good, mm -hmm. you can just tap here. It'll come to where you can grab it and get mm -hmm. it where you want it. So it's just so friendly and it's very light touch. And we're set. If I want to go back bright, back up she goes. Hmm. All your lights do that. That is so good. And you got a lot of lights in here, which is There's really a lot nice. of lighting. Um, Several different kinds of tones of lights, too. Now, this may bug you at night because this doesn't draw any power. It's just on all the time. I just swipe up. I can do the backlighting for the touch panel the same way yes, from yes. any screen. doesn't matter where I'm at in the touch panel. If I swipe up in the middle, I can tone down the backlight. That's cool. And I just bring it back up. You can see it again. So we gave total control. We can go into much depth, too, and control... I can do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, in this. we could spend 20 minutes on just fussing and. But we made fun. it real easy. We made a favorites. Oh yeah. That gives you easy control from one area. Yeah, it's just so simple. That is beautiful. So the placement's kind of interesting. Um, it's utilizing space in the cab, so it's it's really accessible through the hallway. But it also goes to your iPad. Oh. It Bluetooths to your iPad. Right now it's only iPad. Eventually it'll be more things, but right now right. it's program an app on your iPad and you have this on your iPad. That is cool. So that makes it where we don't need a bunch of panels all over. Which, we do have another panel in the bathroom though. Pretty cool, right? But I think one of the geniuses of Embassy is, I'll just use the word simplicity. You can be really complicated, but you guys choose a different path. Well, it's complicated in what's being functioned, but it's simple in how you make it function. So that was the trick to this. And teaming up with Masterboard, I can't stress that enough. The, there was 15 engineers that worked with us in this program, not just one engineer. And we told them what we wanted. We told them how we wanted it to work. They created what we asked for. And it's you saw how simple it was. Yeah, it's just, it's just... And because your standards are so higher than everybody else, you actually have to create a team to make things happen differently and that's just I think one of the geniuses of and because our warranties are almost zero those companies love working with us too because they warranty, don't get beat warranty. up by warranties like the industry right. sees so right. much you know we're right. they're constantly warranty it's hits. a phone call to our customer no matter where they're at and Massvolt can help you we had a Canada <laughs> customer recently 
call us and say, well, the system's yelling at me saying low battery. Well, they had AGM batteries in that because they asked for that. And we went in and looked at it because we get a remote in, even though he's in Canada. Everything looked good. All of our settings were correct. So we asked Masterbolt to remote in, and we all got on a conference call. And in five minutes, I'm not kidding you, Mark from Masterbolt says, there's a solar panel on this vehicle. I said, no, there's not. I don't put solar on a B-band. Are you crazy? The dealer put it on. Didn't tell us. Mm. The solar panel wasn't mounted correctly, and the power went in the wrong spot of the system and freaked it out. That's what was making everything yell. Within 10 minutes, I had a text message with a drawing from Mark from Mastervolt saying, here's how it should have been done. We sent it to the dealer. The customer went to the dealer. They wired it the way they were supposed to do it and the problem solved. <laughs> I mean, stopped. and they never had to come here. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, it, it really is. is. That's the simplicity on the user's end, but the complexity behind the scenes, behind the scenes is working for you. It's so amazing. Let's talk about, uh, speaking of simplicity, I think one of the key things of driving B-Van customers to Embassy RV is the stealth nature, the HOA friendly nature of yeah. the van. So let's jump outside, show you that, and just, I think you have a funny story. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna make you laugh, so put your drink down <laughs> when we get to that point. So this is our stealth RV. You don't see holes all over the place. You don't see cheap RV windows. This is the glass from Ford. We just black it out where we don't wanna see through it, which is really incredible. Um, we had a customer recently get back with us and say he's in an HOA and he was giggling when he's telling me this story. He was written up for his trash can peeking two inches out of his bushes with the RV sitting in his driveway. But they didn't write him up for the RV and that's what made him giggle. They said they wrote him up for my trash can. <laughs> <laughs> they had to walk so, by this to yeah, see that. And said, what's with that trash can? You need to do something about that. He had it in writing and showed it to me. It was, it was hilarious. And you don't know what it is until you... Until you open the door. And even then it really doesn't look like an RV. Yeah, no like other a, RV looks like this. Like a limousine bus. Yeah. And just to prove your point, Terry, let's go around the other side and show folks. This is normally the working side of the RVs. So when you look at this side of the RV that normally has LP, you know, for your refrigerators, your stoves, your water heaters, water all those out. holes that get put, we have an inlet. And by the way, where's the black tank? There is no black tank. You have a spare tire underneath. Uh, and that's the only thing you really cut in other than the... We uh, have to do this because you have to be able to see it. We have had a couple of customers drive off with the cord plugged in. It rips it out of the vehicle. You do have body work after that. So I tell everyone, take a scarf and tie it on your cord and tie it on your steering wheel when you plug in your cord and that'll keep you from driving off with your cord so plugged in. So you can in. see it in the mirror. Because this is very, very solid when it locks on. Yeah, and it's just... It's just a great piece. It's stainless steel. It's smart plug. It's just the best one you can buy. And again, looking at the rear, there's no ladders, there's no, no. bike racks. I mean, those can be put on third-party. Well, you party, really but... shouldn't be putting that stuff on these back doors. These are the double-knuckle, full-swing-around doors that we order from Ford. These hinges cannot handle spare tires on them, a body standing on the door. You're going to tweak this hinge, and Ford's not going to like it. They all say, don't do that to our vehicle, yeah. but everyone does it anyway. We don't do it. But again, just, you know, otherwise, a garbage can poking out of the bushes... Going down the road, it looks like a limousine van or something. But you immediately know when you see our, I call them scuffers, our stainless steel vent covers, that that's an embassy. That's a trademarked embassy. Every customer, they chase each other down at the rest areas now. An embassy just passed us. We need to catch up with them and, and talk to <laughs> them at the, camp, or at the rest area. So maybe just describe quickly what that is. It's like a venting system in and out? Is that I created works? that many years ago. So these, this side sucks in, the other side blows out. There's four of them. You can do them individually. You can do them all together. You can turn this one on in and the driver's side out and you're cross ventilating, you can speed the in up and pressurize the inside, you can speed up the out and vacuum the inside, you have total control of that, but there's no holes in the roof. So, pretty cool, right? But what else is missing on the Embassy RV that every other RV kind of has? I mean, we don't have awning. an awning, no, we don't awning. have solar panels, no solar we panels. don't have a 120 volt outlet sticking out of this vehicle that really there isn't a good one made to do that with. You see silicone around all those things just to try to keep the water out. Yeah. 
we don't put it there, you don't have to worry about it. It's just not there. But you we, have an access point. We do. It okay. stays clean. It's not in the rain. You don't have to worry about shocking yourself in a downpour like we had yesterday. I actually got shocked yesterday by one that had an issue with that with the other. But let's look here and we'll That'd show. That'd be an SOB, some other brand. Yeah. Helping somebody. So instead of putting the electrical outside so you don't touch it in the rain, this is a GFCI on the inside of the vehicle. We happen to have our antenna plugged into it for the TV. You pull the plug in the floor and you drop your cord down through that access hole, take it over to the other side and you plug into that. You're always high and dry, I call it. You're just not, it's clean, it's dry, it's not in the weather. It's You're not in safe. the weather, you're not plugging in yeah. 120 volt in the rain. Uh, and it drops through so there. Small. You'll put a little Brillo pad or something around it, just keep the mice from following the cord yeah, up. That's one of the hands. tricks to that. Yeah. But it's just so cool. We give you a really neat little access to drop it. It's not something ugly on the outside of the van. It's so cool. So Terry, one thing I find that's really compelling about Embassy RV is your approach to garage storage. So a lot of vans have garage storage, if it allows. It's kind of into the van vertically, I mean uh, horizontally, but what you've done here is given the customer space on the inside of the van to stack stuff vertically. And you can even put a bike in here, you say? We've had two bicycles back here. You just take your front tire off, turn your handlebar, store the tire with it. This will hold two bikes plus plenty of other gear. Um, you know, we have customers. We're actually creating, Scott, new cargo netting we use on Salvation Army to go floor to ceiling here for the ones that want to really stack up high which you can you saw it at the camp out some of the customers used every inch of this space yeah. from lawn furniture to you name it it's amazing that this 17 inches of space back here and actually about 19 to the door is so usable so and usable. so friendly and you still get all these wonderful cabinets that you wouldn't get otherwise yeah we're we two. have a wardrobe a linen closet storage for air fryers and coffee makers above the refrigerator. We have a pantry that's just incredible in the front. We have storage under the refrigerator that's pots and pans and things like that. I mean, there's a lot of storage in here and keep it out of your living area so you're not tripping over it. Yeah. And these are, looks like custom panels. This we is... just created new door panels on the back uh, for several reasons. You know, it was a three-piece door panel before so we created this, it's very good looking, but we also were able to insulate the door with our special insulation, and we insulated the back of the door panel again on top of the insulation we could get in the door. We put this nice rubber uh, edging on it so it's very quiet. We put cargo netting in it uh, for storage for hoses and power cords and things like that. So the other reason we did this is all the other door panel shrouds came out to this point of the metal. Well, we create magnetic window covers and we expose the metal so we could take advantage of it. And our new window covers I showed you that are insulated fit beautifully on this and magnet right to that structure. So we kind of opened it up and made it work better for what we want. Pretty cool, right? So we got a couple more things to cover. And the big thing with a lot of our veers is the toilet situation. So I'm gonna show you that there's no black tanks and then Terry's gonna give us a, a peek of the toilet. So again, a big thing here that's always a giveaway for an RV is the plumbing system that's underneath. And clearly this doesn't have anything except a spare tire, which is still kind the of unusual. The spare tire and the trailer hitch from Ford, it's a factory hitch on all of our vehicles. It's the lowest thing on the van. Nothing we have, and the only thing under there is the air conditioner, uh, compressor, and condenser, because we have a split system that's not on the roof. But it's, two inches higher than the spare tire. So you can back up to a curb knowing you're not gonna rip something off the There's bottom of your vehicle. There's nothing there. So that's just, again, a huge giveaway that it's an RV is the plumbing system for the There's nothing green in water out. and uh, black tank. So Terry, show us where the toilet is in here because it's pretty different. It's hidden away, you know, basically this is a changing area. We have new doors we created for privacy here that are really cool, that are custom made for us. And when we step inside, we Voila. just created a restroom. So this is the Lavio dry flush toilet. Looks like I, we call it a diaper genie on steroids. That's, that's our name for it. It basically puffs up like a Jiffy Pop popcorn, gets all the air out of the bowl. 
spins 10 times and vacuums down a new bowl. And when the bowl gets full, you, there's a garbage bag under it. You just tie it up, throw it away. There's and, no water. And there's no water. So dry flush. No, no black fresh tank. water, no black water associated with this toilet at all. Which is a great point on the fresh water. So that extends how long your fresh exactly. water lasts. Exactly. Your toilet uses a lot here. of your fresh water. 100%. If you're not using enough, actually, you get a big mountain of you know what So in let the me show you something here. This is so cool. This is a cartridge. So this is the garbage bag. This There's a octagon waste basket. And this is what makes it spin. You can see we ran it once to test mm -hmm. it. Um, it's got an octagon that sits in there and makes it spin. This just sits on top. And you first time, you'll just go like this a little bit. The next time, it'll vacuum that down. All you clean is this the rotational seat. molded lid that's just really good quality. <laughs> that sits right there. And you've got a toilet with no water. And what I've heard from the camp out that we just came from is that a lot of folks, if they're just urinating, um, you can put some material in there, a lot, wide, wide variety to... Um, lightweight kitty litter, scented kitty litter works well. There's poo powder, pea powder. There's all kinds of diaper material, basically, is all it yeah. is. It's absorbent diaper material. And it gives you the ability to use it overnight as we get a little older and absorb the urine and then in the morning you flush it so you get more uses and it goes further that way. Yeah, which is just great. So, Terry, your, your foot's at the drain so you use the pocket doors and a shower curtain. We have a shower curtain that hangs on these hooks we put in the ceiling. We put two close to each other. You start there, there's two ropes on the shower curtain there. In two seconds you've got a shower curtain. Now we don't close these nice doors for a shower because you've got elbow room. Mm. So look how spacious this is for a bee van here to take a shower. It's really quite nice. Do you put the toilet vanity thing down so it doesn't You can do it? either or if you want to have it down, it's sloped downhill a little. You can set things here and set oh, yeah, the shower, shower there and use it this or, way. Yeah. Or if you want a little more room, you can go up with it. And the shower just happens to be right here. Yeah. So you rinse and set, rinse right. and set. And, and that's fine for the toilet. It's not going to be damaged yeah. in any way for that. So. And the shower curtain protects. Just nothing can get hurt. We don't have any wood. Yeah. But it just keeps you from having to clean it. Yeah, that makes total sense. So that's all that's for. This tucks right back away. You don't even know it's here. It's part of our stealth. If somebody walks in here, they don't even know there's a restroom in here. That is so great. I gotta say, you getting the message? This thing is kind of cool from everything else you've probably seen. So Terry's got one more thing we want to go over, and that's kind of do a little in-depth on their energy system because B van people want the freedom of a van, and you really can't do it without a good quality lithium system. Right. So let's have Terry give us a little education on the lithium system, and we'll wrap this video. But um, you're kind of getting the idea, right? Um, now I'm working. You might be asking, why am I not in an embassy RV? Well. We're working on him getting we're me. We're working a, on it. We're working on a bed system because to me it's about floor plan. I travel full time, so traveling full time is very different than traveling for a few days or even a few weeks. Customers are doing it for months. But we have full timers, you know. Yeah, full timers. Absolutely. So it's again, how do you want to deal with the bed and some of the things? So that's kind of answer that question. Um, but you get the idea. Pretty innovative, right? Master Vault, ready? Yes. Um, okay, so it. Terry's on the throne, but not for the reason you think. <laughs> um, Terry's going to show us a little sneak peek behind the scenes on the. Master Vault system. Terry, show us what this thing here is and what are we looking at over here? So this is the inverter. This is a communication cable that Velcros up to the wall here. So this would just pop out and plug into your Microsoft based laptop and we can communicate with you from anywhere in the world. So you can be in Alaska and we can actually adjust things in your vehicle from here and if there's an ever an issue where something gets a little bit sideways on you, MasterVolt can remote into you. You'll see them take over your computer and they will say, oh yeah, this setting's off a little bit. Let's adjust that and do it no matter where you're at. You don't have to go anywhere and you're done. Is that almost an industry first? I've never heard of that before. It's a yachting. If you think about it, a yacht can't pull over and go to a service center. So this uh, has to happen in yachts. So there's a device in here right underneath here that communicates through satellite for yachts. So if they're in the middle of the ocean and there's something going on, they can go in and help them without them. They can't rush to a service center. They're in 
you know, it's just, they're not fast. <laughs> they're not fast. And you so take this a lot is, of inspiration from the marine industry. This is another good example. Well, Masterville's owned by Brunswick Corporation, though it's Hatter's Boat, Bayliner, Blue Sea, um, uh, Boston Whaler, Mercury Marine, Motor Guide Trolling Motors. I mean, they are massive in the yachting industry. So we teamed up with them because I love the yachting industry, marine plastics and everything, and it couldn't have been a better marriage. They've been a wonderful, they have more engineers in Europe than in America. You could send your vehicle to Europe and travel Europe and have support in Europe on this vehicle. It's incredible. So we can communicate with you. If your inverter gets sideways, every other inverter has settings, you gotta just hit buttons and do all kinds of stuff. You literally shut down your battery, wait two minutes and start it again and it fixes itself. Something just like there. your laptop would do if it would lock up on you, right. this works exactly the same way. It's not a tough thing to do. And then we go into all of our controls. Massivolt has this whole system is Massivolt. The touch panel, the battery, the shunts, the inverter, the communication, the all the connectors for all the power, the fuse panels, which there's two of them in here, is Massivolt's harness, Massivolt's components, Massive volts communication. If a fuse blow, the touch panel tells us. Because hmm. it's all married by Master Volt. It's never been done before that I know of that one company has been this involved in this system. And we can't say enough about it. It's absolutely incredible. So, um, serviceability. You know, if you ever have to tighten a cable, it's right there. You just put a 916 on it and snug it a little bit. Yeah. You know, you do have to keep the cables tight. This is the blood of the vehicle. But it's very, very easy to do. It's right here. You just snug it up a little bit. That's so great. Terry, since we got these closets open, let's show the folks the, um, again, innovation in motion. Uh, so you're, we're familiar with this. This is our soft clothes pantry. What you may not be familiar with is just this easy. I can pop these out and have better access to the service down here. And just this easy, it's back in again. Wow. That's it's very easy to try do. that with a wood drawer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just not any tougher than that. So we went a step further. This is our wardrobe. So this is the original shelf with the hanging clothes bar. But we created kind of an octopus shelf. If you ever grabbed an octopus, which I have, don't ever do that by the way, <laughs> it doesn't eight legs fun. can't get pulled off by one hand <laughs> when it's got a hold of your hand. This acted kind of like that so we created snap downs and now I can pull the shelf and adjust it from anywhere. I can drop them both down to the bottom. When I'm done I just go like this and I just created a totally adjustable shelf system that we designed and made it where it's just super simple if you want to have that for an option. Which is so smart and so needed. It's space saving, it doesn't rattle, it doesn't create noise, our vans are so quiet. A customer came in the other day saying he drove in somebody else's van and he wanted to see how many rattles we had. So I got him in a vehicle and I started driving out of the parking lot. He said, you can turn around. I said, I'm not even out of the parking lot yet. <laughs> he said, the other one was already falling apart before it got out of the parking lot. <laughs> right. So, and I hit every bump down the road I could hit. And he says, really, you can turn around. <laughs> <laughs> he convinced me. Uh, it's just so beautiful. Terry just, you know, never ceased to be amazed at, at what you, the team has put together. Uh, again, so different for so many reasons that makes it just so compelling. Um, and the thing we talk about a lot that is again behind the scenes is the, the insulation factor. And the better insulated the vehicle is and the more efficient the appliances, the less the lithium system has to do, work hard, right? And I believe nobody touches truly on, everyone says, well, I've got lithium batteries, I'm golden. Do you have a lithium battery that everything in it is created to be efficient with that battery. Chances are that's no. Very few things in the vehicle are designed to help your lithium battery run longer. The industry isn't really paying attention to that. We pay attention to that. Everything in here from the refrigerator to the air conditioners to the electronics to the you know, the whole master volt system is all about efficiencies, insulation efficiencies. Uh, the um, refrigerator here is the Vitra Frigo from Italy. 
incredible, incredible refrigerator that when you open it looks like a Yeti cooler inside yeah. with all the insulation and the big magnets in it. The compressor is going to run a third of the time of a normal 12 volt refrigerator. There's your efficiency. It's five amps a draw, but if I draw one third of the time, you just help the battery. And that's what this is truly about is how much runtime how much insulation, how much window protection we created, insulated window covers to help the air conditioner not have to cycle so much, that runs longer. So create efficiencies around your battery and your battery will love you. And if you use a grade A lithium battery like we have here with Masterville, we have 920 amp hours of battery. One second, a lot of companies go by watts. So 920 times 13 volts equals 11,960 watts. That's pretty, that's pretty powerful. So then let's do the math on a cord. If you're plugged into a 30 amp cord, perfect power, we have a 160 amp charger in the master volt inverter. Industry standard is 60 to maybe 120 if you have a, a different kind of inverter, 160. But let's go a little further. If we start the engine, we have 100 to 120 amps at idle, which is everyone else's cord, <laughs> max. 250 amps going down the road, which is more than you can even get on our 30 amp, 160 amp charger. So why do you need a cord? You really don't. We've created efficiencies in alternators and things that give you the ability to never plug in if you don't want to. You can go wherever you want to go and you're not bound by a cord. So if you want to learn more, um, you want to subscribe to the channel, Go Small, Live Large, because we have Terry on a regular basis on YouTube Live to answer these questions and address these types of topics. Uh, EmbassyRV.com has got a lot of information. Um, they have a little pull down. Where did you hear about this? Uh, if you can give us a shout out, Scott, uh, Go Small, Live Large. That helps Terry know where to put his dollars, and uh, we sure do appreciate the support there. Terry, just thank you again for... Oh. Everything you do for the community is so innovative. And we've been working together for um, like almost four years, I think. Yeah. And you keep iterating on every little bit. And while it's still essentially the same, it's these little tiny differences that just make a huge difference for the customer. I think what you'll always see with us is we're never satisfied. Even though customers are saying nobody is in our game, our game keeps improving. That's who we are. We're constantly learning. We're constantly teaching ourselves more. We're dealing with vendors and dealing with Ford. Ford just loves working with us, so we get such good information from Ford, and we take that information and we run with it and make better vehicles constantly, and that's our commitment to everybody is, you know, we're always going to do our best to build the best vehicle we can build. And all you've done is just irritate the competition, but you keep <laughs> moving the goalpost. Oh. <laughs> They'll never catch up. Yeah. They'll just they'll just never catch up. So just thanks again for the time today. And all what we'd like to say is until we see you soon, journey on. And that might yeah. be for some of you to get your journey on, maybe in an embassy RV. Yeah. And peace be with you. All right. Thanks Talk for to watching. you soon.